all hey, been too deep. Hey, 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 yeah, we all in too deep in this motherfucker, man. <laughs> hey, it's your boy DJ Rich King, your girl's favorite DJ man with the bands. Don't bring your girl around me because uh, she gonna become a fan. I got uh, the CEO and owner of the Black Impact. Deontay in this motherfucker. How you feeling, Ken? Hey, I'm good and shit. Hey, I got Fox up in this motherfucker with me. Yes, hey, you know what I'm Yo. saying? JC in this motherfucker with me. Hey, niggas got that shit on. Hey, bro, we like the Power Rangers in this bitch. Hey, hey, we like the Power Rangers in this bitch. Hey, I'm going to drop a link in the bio for you bitches. And it's a sale. But hey, bro, this is like the podcast formerly known as the Sharon Boys. It's the podcast formerly known as uh, the Black Impact. If you ever, uh, if you ever listen to our shit, if you fucked with us before, if you if you this far deep, you probably don't fuck with either. Bro shit, or you don't fuck with my shit before. And so, uh, yeah, you know we doing things a little bit different. Hey, thank you, Queen. Ooh, we thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should have panned on that. You I should have panned. You should have panned on that. Panned on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, you know, you know, we uh, you know, uh, we was both two independent black men doing our own thing. So we said, what's better than two? One person doing their own thing, two people coming together. You know, but that's only greatness right there. You hear me? You hear me? So, uh, so I got a question for you. How 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 is this? Can you tell the audience how this podcast is gonna be gonna be structured? Like, hey. what what is the idea for us making it? So really, uh, it's the I feel as if damn, it's putting me on the spot like that. <laughs> no, but the whole thing is basically just for uh. The, our podcast just to be a space for motherfuckers to be comfortable to just to really ask say questions. how they really feel, to really be able to ask questions and get a constructive response and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of different perspectives and colors up in this motherfucker, mm-hmm. as you can see. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He rolling up some of that. Ooh, ooh. I need mm-hmm. some of that. But, uh, <laughs> hey. But, uh, so it's really yeah. just to give you a lot of different perspectives and, and, ideas and shit and really to be able to tr- kind of try to be as as personal with the motherfuckers that's watching you not to call you a motherfucker i'm the motherfucker actually that uh but uh you, you see what i did there? Yeah, that was fine. Hey, that was, hey. Fine. <laughs> hey, uh, but uh really just to be able to just kind of really be like it's a podcast but it's it's, it's kind of we kind of want to really we kind of just want to be as as up close and personal with with our supporters, right? With everybody that's watching it. So, mm-hmm. uh, with that being said, we uh, we reached out on social media a few days before. We terrible with this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I pro- we probably should have came and hollered at you before and told you to follow us on our all socials. Mine is DJ Rich Cam, uh, yeah, on everything basically that matter. DJ Rich Cam. Um, yeah, and you can follow uh, the Black Impact. You um. On socials, just uh, we 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 focus on Instagram a lot, so just follow us on Instagram. That's the Black Impact LLC. You find us. We definitely gonna be the first ones to pop up. You feel me? And then on Facebook, it's the same thing. You know, you just do the Black Impact, and you know we got to pop it on that as well. And uh, one thing I do want to say too is, we we're trying to break we breaking down the notion too, right? Because people that don't not familiar familiar with hanging out with a lot of black people or things, and they think we all the same. You know what I'm saying? They think that we all act the same, we walk the same, we talk the same, we do the same things. But like, me and him, two different stories. We came up in similar backgrounds, but we was on two totally different ends of like what was going on in the world, you feel me? But at the same time, man, we met we met at a unique time, I would say. And uh, we've been locked in ever since, man. We've been, we've been brainstorming. We've been, we've been getting better as, you know, two strong, independent black men since the start. So... That's one thing we want to show you too. It's like we all got different perspectives, and like you might agree, you might agree with some of the things we say, and you might not agree with some of the things we say. But it's about the black, it's about the black impact and the and the perspective that we have that we just trying to share with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I would, I would, I would consider him to be a smart individual, an intelligent individual. I would like to say the same for myself. You know what I mean? But we also know that y'all all intelligent and y'all all ways as well. We just trying to spread the knowledge, you hear me, of what we believe. So how you want to kick this off? Well, uh, honestly, like I was saying before, I feel like the best way to start it is to is with the motherfucking is with the feedback that we already received. Like I said, uh, mm-hmm. we reached out on Facebook a couple of days ago and kind of just was asking um, what type of any questions people ask, any type of advice or just. And I wouldn't even really say advice because my the advice I'm gonna give you my best advice is to take no fucking advice. And, uh, I, and I ain't gonna say that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that was a bit egotistical. I feel like you shouldn't take advice from nobody that's not in the lane that you want to be in and shit. Because you know, like, 
you will tell a motherfucker about some shit you're trying to do, and then they'll fucking they'll give you their perspective and their opinion, and there's nothing wrong with that and shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? If it's from coming from a good place, but uh, at the same time, it's like I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. It's like shit. If I'm trying to, if I'm trying to run a trucking company, mm -hmm. and you don't run a trucking company. I don't give a fuck about what you got to say about how I should run my trucking company. I, I I don't give a fuck about what the nigga with the trucking company got to mm -hmm. say either, but I'll take his shit into consideration because mm -hmm. he in a lane that I'm trying to be in. And that's what I mean by, like, advice and shit. The best advice is no advice unless it's from a motherfucker in the lane that you want to be in. We might, as well, we might as well just start about taking advice, right? Like, if we're going to start the podcast about that, let's talk about that because I agree with you, but I also think it's about the way you, how you say it to somebody, right? Like and then what you do is how you yeah, do it. Exactly, so. right? So if I'm driving trucks, right? And let's say you're a marketing, you're a marketing person, but you're a marketing person advertiser don't that they don't drive trucks, but they know how to market and advertise. So if you got your own business, you know what I'm saying? They might be like, hey man, like you got your own truck, you got your own semi. Why not put a sticker with your big old name on it? So every state that you hit every week or every month or whatever, everybody gonna see your name. That's promotion 24-7, right? But if he tell me, yo, you doing it wrong. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? You doing, you a truck driver, you supposed to do this, this, this. You ain't doing it right. I'm not finna take that. You ain't finna tell me, you ain't finna tell me nothing like that. You feel me? Because I'm in this space. You're not in this space, right? But I think anybody can't get anybody suggestions or advice, you know what I'm saying, that if they put it in the right context and give, put it in the right manner. For sure. But yeah. you, I do agree, though. People, people, inputs do value differently, right? Yeah. Like, if you got a trucker that's been in for 40 years over somebody that skate, I don't skate, but it sounded cool. But over somebody that skate, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go to truck over the skate, but not discrediting not not discrediting the skater because the skater might have different ideas. You know what I'm saying? For sure, and I can't say that like I can't lie and say that I've never taken advice from somebody that wasn't in the lane that I was in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm most definitely taking words that somebody has given me and applied it to a situation that works for me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But with all of that being said, I feel as if uh, the best place to start is with the motherfuckers. That's a uh, that wanted that that reached out and wanted our opinion on mm -hmm. some shit. You feel me? And, uh, you I, know what I mean? But yeah, but ironically enough, you know, we kind of asked around Thanksgiving, and one thing that been popping up a lot is like, what's the is there, is there a difference between a black Thanksgiving and a white Thanksgiving? I'm the best person to answer this, bro. The best person. <laughs> why? Bro. Why are you the best person to answer bro, this? Look at me, bro. <laughs> Look at hey, me, hey, bro. hey! Do they call you light skin or they call you black and white? Which one? So my black, <laughs> my, my black friend calls me white boy. <laughs> hey, hey, white boy! <laughs> Literally, bro. I'm like, bro. I'm half black, y'all. We are talking about. It. But yeah, to them, I'm white as fuck though and shit. But yeah, it's a big difference. So like, honestly, like the black side, like, is it the seasoning? <sighs> Is, it, is that it? Bro, my auntie... He got slappy mama in his bro. pocket. He got slappy mama in his bro. pocket. Bro, bro. <laughs> auntie Molly could go crazy, bro. What, bro? Bro. The black side, like, more real and shit. Mm. Real, like, it's all, like, real love, real, like, home and shit. You feel me? The, the white side, no disrespect or nothing, you know what I'm saying? It was always great growing up. But, like, it's a big difference, bro. And the food, come on now, like... Nigga, the white side like carrots, turkey, corn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't never had no turkey. No, that, that, that's probably not every white family because Jacob probably did. Fox, yo, you hey, Thanksgiving was yesterday, man. What you eat? Hey, for you got hey, you, hey, what you got? What you eat for Thanksgiving yesterday, man? Put me on the spot. Yes, bro, you I, got the you got the coach on your back right now. Bro. I uh, I ate some turkey. All right, some with corn. corn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some regular, <laughs> regular <laughs> corn, yo. <laughs> See, I can't, I, I can't deny what he's saying about white Thanksgiving because that's just like, damn, I'm sitting here like, damn, like this sounds just too right, like that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had an OG crib and got a plate. Pull up yeah. old Christmas and shit so we can prepare. I should have came. I should have. Hey, yeah, hey, tell him. Hey, but the, the, the crazy part is at OG crib because I was at, I was in my man's OG crib and it wasn't just black people there. You know what I'm saying? That was it, was it just black people that like he had a lot of ethnicities that, that's what's up, though. and they was all enjoying the same space as we, you know what I'm saying, as we enjoy. And uh, just I know this is a little side note. This kind of goes too far, but like as a black culture, that's what we try to do, right? Like we try to accept anybody that's willing to get accepted. You know what I'm saying? You ever see us dancing? You know what I'm saying? Dancing among ourselves, and then a white boy or a white girl start dancing with us, and they and they start killing it. Even if they're not killing it, we love the confidence. We love, you know, we love them wanting to get involved and. Every time you see us, you know what I'm saying, we always get hyped and get, you know what I'm saying, we try to come to, 
to togetherness is what we try to bring in. And that's what the podcast is, right? Because how many Thanksgivings you go to and your cousin, your third cousin be that that you don't see only once again? Hey, man, you know every Thanksgiving yeah, is like, nigga. Hey, you know Thanksgiving, <laughs> hey, Thanksgiving be the only time you see half your motherfucking mm-hmm. cousins. Hey, let's keep it real, man. You know how that shit goes. But, it, but it be but, regular, uh, though, right? Feel, yeah, and that's what it is. But yeah. I feel like also I know like my OG phone, and I feel like my OG ain't the only one like that. She always try to like, she like, she never really turned no motherfucker away. Because like, like, bro... He lived next door and his family never really celebrated Thanksgiving, but the nigga grew up in America and shit. But you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's their own Harvard. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna judge your lifestyle how you grew up. In here. I ain't gonna, and I can't, you know what I'm saying, try to understand it. I only can try to emulate what you and shit. Yeah. But I just know, like, you know what today is. And your ass ain't spending time with your family and shit. And I asked him, and he knew, like, yeah, that's really what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, don't forget the food, nigga, because, uh. I, 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 I cherish my family every day. So uh, I'm really in it for the food. Like, like I almost but, uh, got in, I almost got in trouble with my man's crib because you know I'm a guest, right? Like, like I've been there before. You know, I've been around, been around all fam before, right? But like, I'm still respectful, right? I'm letting everybody, you know, do their thing. Let the kids eat first and stuff like that, right? And uh, we, uh, she like, yeah, everybody can get food, right? And I went back in the kitchen, like we prayed together, right? Fire, and then uh, I went back in the living room to sit down, let everybody start getting some food first, and I go in. You know, in a little bit, she came out there and said, boy, if you don't get your butt up and go get some food, she said, you part of the family. And I said, oh, okay, right? And, like, that's the type of love that they bring. But you know what I'm saying? My mom ain't never been, though. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? She always tried to, she never turned the motherfucker away and shit. And that's literally how my OG is and shit. And that's why I'm like, yeah, bro, come eat with us, folks. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, she, Jake, you know, you didn't, folks, you didn't. She's, always, she's always opened the door for me. Let me, she's like, I've, I've sat there, drink cups of coffee with her, waiting mm-hmm. for you to pull up. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a real one. Fact. So I got, so I, I got a question, you know, just jumping off that real quick. You can kind of pay them back over when you want to. But my question is, like, if you had to say what's the biggest difference between a white Thanksgiving and a black Thanksgiving, what would y'all answers be? Anybody can go first. I feel like you can't, and don't say the food, because I know it's the yeah, food. Yeah, that's regular. Yeah, I don't know that. Say, like, I'm afraid to say the food. <laughs> like, anything else, though, like, like, do y'all, like, do, like, like, do y'all do something different? Like, do y'all play games and Thanksgiving? Do y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do what y'all Hey, motherfuckers do? brought games to my OG career, but niggas didn't play them. But, they, like, the effort was there. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot, it was a lot going on in the black family, man. We'd be a lot going on. People coming in and out. You know, I know, like, like the time of what a lot of, like, a lot of white friends I got, Dude, they eat ass game was on. Drinking. What you mean by drinking? Just drinking. My family never watched that shit. Like, they don't play games or shit. But my auntie, like, always got music playing and shit, though. So all the kids be dancing and having a great time. So it's, like, great there, you know what I'm saying? But me, I love football. So I would love to be watching football. Yeah, see, getting it done. Yeah, the yeah, game you know, always man. on. Man, we had the Bears versus the Lions, man. Don't, 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 don't go hard on the Bears, And they pulled out that W, we got though, the so we're going to hold the so they But we can it. move on from that. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I'm saying? We, we ain't here for that. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Mm-hmm. But that's one thing I'll say is my biggest difference for me is it's, uh, it's the time it's the time that families come in the black family and the white family is the time that y'all eat, right? Like, like my white friends be eating, like, at 1 o'clock. Like, like in a black I family. I feel like if you eat. If you eat uh, at four, nigga. If you last time we still cooking that one, but my bad. Like we, yeah, we ate about what we ate about like we five ate like we ate, <laughs> was it like five something? Facts, bro. Damn, bro. Was five Damn. Seven, bro. Damn Michael Cow should be like it was like three. <laughs> and, and no, and you know what's funny? And half the food is still already done. <laughs> so for us to still, but like you know, black people niggas waiting on one thing. <laughs> 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 but like you know, but like when we was eating, fan was still coming. You know what I'm saying? Like a couple sprinklers were still coming in through the end. You feel me? So it's like that's how it is. It's like I feel like, at least in our culture and our, you know what we do is like, we spend a lot of that time like chopping it up and just catching up with everybody. You know what I mean? Like we're still cooking, but we're still catching up. Like like to me, if I go to my family, my family Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever, and I come in and the food already done and it's already people eating, like 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 you know what I'm saying? Like it'd be like what? Like if I come early, I'm talking like if I come early on time, like that's the prep time. Like like. I don't. I don't feel like we in my atmosphere if they not and like soon as you step in, my family pay everybody to work. You know what I'm saying? Hey Ken, you feeling? Hey, go get them chairs. You know what I'm saying? Go get them plates. You know what I'm saying? Go get the table that's in the back. Yo, Deontay, stir the foot. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they tell us. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's a part of it. You know what I mean? And 
that's why I feel like it's one of the biggest difference for me. It's just the time that we eat and how we um how we uh celebrate those times, right? Like, yeah, you, you good? Look, oh, I was gonna have to cut you off, King, but like you said, but but uh, kind of jumping off what you said about celebrating those times, man. Like the older I get, you know how that you know that you know the saying where they be like, life too short, life so short, cherish. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro, that shit is real, bro. That shit is real, it's, bro. That shit is real, bro. It's like really cherish those times and Literally, shit bro. because like like but like, i got a fucking shot like that like you know what i'm saying like damn like nick like bro like and it's like fuck that because you know what i'm saying it's like whatever you know what i'm saying but like like niggas is like really like not like niggas is not literally not living to the next day niggas just niggas got smoked on thanksgiving like damn nigga the nigga probably was like yeah i'm thankful for my life and shit and then lost that bitch the same day years and old, i know the yeah. nigga that smoked that allegedly smoked him you know what i'm saying because it's like i ain't because you know what i'm saying nigga you innocent until proven guilty That's and shit so like but like now like, i like motherfuckers be like be caught up in like the materialistic shit like yeah the money the cars you know what I'm saying? The women, people the, the niggas. People be worried about their own shit. Yeah, but it's like, like, you really gotta cherish this shit. You really gotta like, nigga. Like I was outside, nigga, just like looking at the trees. Like, yeah, these some nice ass trees and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, life is good. Or just like really cherishing the time that you spending with the motherfuckers that you care about because you made you. Who knows how much time you got with them motherfuckers and shit. Nobody, who, you know what I'm saying? What's it saying? I wish I knew the last time was the last time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, shit, like, nobody know when the last time is. I got nigga, nigga, shout out my nigga Kev Hendricks, but I still, my, that's always gonna be my motherfucking brother. But, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Life, life go the way life go and shit. And I wish I would've knew the last time was the last time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can look back and we can revisit shit and all that shit, but, like, Shit, life, 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 life a fickle bitch. And that motherfucker, that shit, niggas ain't, niggas, like me, I'm a controlling ass nigga. I be liking to have control of everything, but it's like, nigga, you ain't got that much control over your life and shit, even if you Thanks. like to think that shit and shit. But the, what you can do, nigga, is appreciate the time and appreciate the people that appreciate you and shit. And the journey, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, really, like, for real, bro. Really? For real, bro. Because it's like, damn. I wanted to be like, I wanted to be on the radio for like the longest, but then I got on that bitch, bro, and I wasn't even appreciating that shit. It was just like a job, bro. Like how you was going to work every day. Yeah. That's all it was for me, for I was just getting in that bitch ready to get out. And now I don't do that shit no more, and I'm like, damn, bro. You was making an impact, nigga. Motherfuckers was, nigga, you was, you know what I'm saying? But you wasn't like appreciating that shit. You wasn't thinking about it like that, you know what I'm saying? But And you bust your ass to even get there, nigga. And, you, and then what you do when you get there, bro, you was worried about everything, but nigga the time the situation the moment that you was in and shit you know what i'm saying like a lot of people like that but like that's why i that's why i hate instagram bro because everything fake on that shit bro like motherfuckers nobody going through nothing bro Ain't nobody having no hard times bro the only time niggas going through some shit is if a nigga die bro on snapchat though one day one day somebody's having a good day the next day they're like yeah you know what i'm saying yeah bro yeah <laughs> bro it's like bro instagram everybody you everybody living large and doing their shit bro and it's like and it's like it's cool you know what i'm saying it's your highlight reel and i ain't do what you think and do what you do what make you fucking happy you feel me but it's like i'm on instagram like yeah i'm in therapy and doing my shit and blah 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 and i'm the only nigga doing that shit but like man with all of that being said man i like appreciate like just like really appreciate your life and cherish your life because like man it's weird how many motherfuckers just in the pandemic nigga that i don't lost from the fuck and not from fucking covid nigga you know what i'm saying we in the hood so you you know what i'm saying you know you know like crazy when covid was still secondary to what you see around the world you know what i'm saying with my people or my community like we, i still see a lot of people killing each other a lot of people still getting Yeah, niggas podcast. still kill, you know what I'm like, saying? Yeah, you know what niggas saying? Like, still killing more niggas. Like, niggas. Like, no disrespect to COVID, because COVID, uh, we, you know, COVID definitely is a real thing, you know what I mean? But, like, for that to still be, like, we got to worry about COVID and worry about getting shot. And worry about getting shot by the police and worry about, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's still so much we got to worry about, you know what I'm saying? But one thing that Thanksgiving, like, like kind of remind me of all the time, like, it's like, man, Thanksgiving, man, Thanksgiving should be every day, bro. It is every day. If you know you, what I'm saying? Living right, but it's like, like I'm saying, like I can't. I'm saying that shit. Like I'm, like I'm waking up every day, just thankful as fuck. Well, I woke. I used to wake. I used to wake up angry as hell, nigga, every day. That nigga, that's why I started going to therapy, folks. Cause I used to wake up mad, nigga. Like I literally, now I'm just already mad as fuck, nigga. Just, uh, nigga. I wish a motherfucker would, like, nigga, you nigga, 
Nigga, Calm you brushing down, your man. teeth, nigga. Who the fuck you beat, nigga? Who the fuck you is you just beat? just woke up. Bro, for real. Like, bro, <laughs> shit, relax, nigga. You finna go to school, nigga? Like, bro, I'm, like, I'm in that bitch mad if I just... I ain't even talking to no bitches. I'm just in that bitch just angry and shit just... <laughs> So like, bro, chill the fuck out, bro. Hey, so I want to, hey. You feel, bro, like, bro, like, for, that's why I started going, like, bro, that shit ain't healthy. This shit ain't healthy because that shit was trickling down on Layla. And I ain't like that shit. It's like, hell no, bro. Like, I ain't finna, I ain't finna, what motherfuckers put on to me, I'm not putting that shit on the Layla for I'll be damn, bro. And everybody else around you, the way you act, like, if you're in a bad mood, everybody else around you is going to be in a bad mood. But if you're happy, everybody around you is going to be happy. Hey, I got. Hey, I got to. Uh, I'm gonna um, ask some of these questions that the fan asked. Yeah, so we, we go. All right, folks, we gonna stop talking that shit about that <laughs> shit, man. But one question is, um, don't judge me, but I didn't know this. I didn't know that people, certain groups of people, I'm smoking one of the best right now. <laughs> certain group of people eat breakfast on Thanksgiving. What? I have never ate breakfast on Thanksgiving. We wait. Hell no, I don't eat right. breakfast. Like, like, I ain't not, so my question is, nigga, I don't eat until I don't eat all day, nigga. No, I uh, eat. I I wait until things. I wait till seven o'clock. Hey. <laughs> like, I'll wait. Like, so my question is, is that acceptable? Like, like, hey, like, should we you, do what makes you happy? Do you no, no, that's cute. Do that's you eat not... again later, though. Huh? Do you eat again later? You know what I'm saying? Like, Bre no, like, 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 I got some friends that eat regular breakfast, like bacon eggs, ham, ham, potato, hey, hey, but like, they eat, hey, hey, but like, they eat like a regular hey, breakfast and then like they eat. So like you cooked breakfast. The whole. Why you was cooked, like, you got but it, man, I'm That's just, in the way of cooking up the food, hey, like. Bro, for hey, I'm on, <laughs> I'm on the spiel of like, do what makes you happy. That's what I'm going to just do with it. You want to eat breakfast on Thanksgiving, nigga, hold you up. I didn't done it before. You know what I'm saying? No, I can't. You know I can't let you go with that but, answer. But, uh, Come on, fool. We like, fool. Hey, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, man. Like like you you have to do, what make, do what make you happy. I'm not eating at all. I ain't eating all fucking day, nigga. I'm, I'm starving. Up. Nigga, I'm going to eat a fat ass night. I'm going to eat the day before. I'm in, I'm in. But I'm probably, I'm probably <laughs> drinking the night before. So it's fucked up. I know it's fucked up because you're going to wake up drunk. So you're going to want to eat <laughs> something. Holy but the food ain't done yet. <laughs> I know, I know. So but we gotta, waiting. Like how? So that's you, why I might do what makes you happy. My, so my thing is, ain't it open anyway? So I mean, it's just like, what, bro? You huh? sometimes, nigga, come on, folks. Come on, I'm not folks. Even, folks. Come on, folks. What if I would have smoked that nigga at the club on Christmas on Thanksgiving? Eve, nigga? <laughs> you think I wouldn't want no breakfast after that shit, nigga? I would have wanted some bacon and shit. I ain't trying to wait for Thanksgiving food, nigga. I'm trying to eat right now. Nah, that's just I'm hungry as fuck, nigga. I would have been. Folk. For that's like, look, 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 you know, great, you know, we, a great grandma cooking all the night before and that day. How rude is to be like, grandma, I, I know you cooking for Thanksgiving, I need you to make some breakfast. What? She been cooking for two grandma. days. Don't like your grandma make no breakfast, so I do what you gotta do. Man, you gonna be, my, my grandma don't let us in the kitchen while she cooking. If you ain't helping. These is, these is facts, though. It's you not in that thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, but right, but hypothetically, though, I'm asking you, though, if you had to pick one. No, I don't So personally, so, personally, y'all y'all starving? Like, Y'all starving, y'all would get up for some breakfast. Usually, I'm starving. Starving, nigga. Usually I'm, I'm starving. starving. But I can understand being in that place, though. You know what I'm saying? I can understand being in that place. This hood is looking fire, man. Hood is playing with that shop, man. Hey, if I feel like, hey, hey, man, when you, uh. Fox, what you doing? You, 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 what y'all do? Y'all, you waiting or you eating that breakfast? I, bro, I starved myself so I could eat like four, four plates. See, okay, cool. So we, but, so we know eating breakfast over here on Thanksgiving. But I can't say that. I mean, I, I mean, I always get like real sauced before Thanksgiving, like the day before, because I usually have that day off before. So it's like, I can't tell you if I have eaten breakfast in the morning or not, because half the time I'm probably going to forget. Okay, cool. Yeah. But that is Christmas time now, <laughs> cool, man. Cool. Jumping off that, another, no, another. My boy. Jumping off that, another. Hey. Can we not? I want to. I'm done. Let's stop talking about Thanksgiving, man. Oh, we got one more. That's all I want to know. One more. One more. One more, man. All right, man. Fan ass. Fan ass. This for for you. The fan. The fan ass. Oh my God! You can't be coming out here, fucking, fucking. Come on, girl. Sleep. What? <laughs> so, hey, so. Go pick up nothing. Commercial <laughs> <laughs> break. Commercial <laughs> break. <laughs> You better, you better be reaching for something under the sky, man. Can you give me some shoes? You got my hair for some shoes. You know, no, it's, oh it, my god, man, I can't even do that's too much work, man. I ain't gonna hold you. But no, last question was the fans ask. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> the fact. <laughs> What you telling me? That was your Thanksgiving? What you telling me? Oh, no, no, no. So the question, the last question was the, 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 the a, 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 a supporter asks, they say, but what if you go over to your boyfriend Thanksgiving or what if you go to a friend house Thanksgiving and, and you don't like the food? Like, what you do with it? Like, do you eat it? You gotta hold that. Do you throw it away? Way. Like how you how you how you, you how you that. respectfully or do you be respectful at all? Who who who, who talking about res- you gotta you won't fuck being respectful, nigga. You gotta be stealthy. Facts, nigga. Bro. You gotta get rid of that food. <laughs> and it's fucked up because motherfuckers be looking. Yes. Hard to make that be eat like two bites to dip off of that bitch and throw it away, bro. You gotta like you gotta be stealthy as fuck, bro. And you probably gotta fold the plate. You can't oh, do that, but you you like a motherfucker probably ain't gonna be like, "Why are you doing blah blah blah?" blah. They just gonna notice. But it's like they just, that's some shit they gotta deal with. You know what I'm saying? But you can't blatantly just uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You gotta like, you gotta fold that bitch up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm you saying? You definitely get it's it. fucked up because okay, you would you should know before you even eat the food. That shit wasn't smelling that fire and turning out that trash. So like, if that shit trash, that shit would probably smell trash too. So like, you know what I'm saying? I hope you ain't get like, like if you got two plates, you in a bad place because you can't fold both of them. And like, you gotta like, you gotta hey, be like you, Mr. Hey, Krabs and hey, shit. Like, but I got a tip though. You definitely gotta offer to take somebody else's plate to throw away and just throw their plate on top of your plate. You definitely gotta be like, Grandma, you done with that pie? I got you, Grandpa. That's late. That's you know late. what I'm saying? Hey, baby, bro, I got you, Nick. I don't usually do stuff for you, but I'm, I'm gonna grab that I don't for you. I usually do this, but uh. I got this for you. <laughs> you feel me? Like, and, and. But I do, I do think it's kind of disrespectful to leave a whole plate, though. <laughs> like, leave a whole plate kind of disrespectful. Like, yeah, you shouldn't even touch it for, like... Yeah. But like, you can't, how you know, though? Sometimes you Nah, know. folks. Take a few bites. Up yeah, you better go <laughs> intro, you better get an intro plate, nigga. You, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, that's just a couple questions that they asked about Thanksgiving, you know, just because, you know, that's kind of the holidays we've been around, and uh, they had a couple more questions, but we think... You know, we, we don't want to make the whole thing about, you know, Thanksgiving plays, you know. It's a, it's a pay your holiday. Mm-hmm. But that's something for a different day. Oh, what the fuck is that? Can I, can I, can I fucking bring this in closer on the nigga? I'm a real nigga. Hey, can I, hey, you, you know what's, you know what's, uh, hey, you know what's not a holiday, though? You know, like, what's year round? Dealing with these females? Oh, my God, that's a full-time job. Man. That's a full-time job. Full-time you don't get paid. That's 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 four years of college, man. That's a yeah, that's a PhD. Cool. That's open time, yeah, I'm gonna say you get the master, you get your PhD, and uh, for some for some reason, man, like they they on both on both our Instagrams where they ask us questions, they ask us a lot of questions about like female or orientated questions. Like, you feel comfortable? Good, you feel bro, cool? I'm the motherfucking. I already know what to call myself. I can't even give myself a name. You know what I'm saying, but I'm I'm something that that like is is been whispered. You know what I'm saying, a nigga like me, you hear about him. You know what I'm saying, whispers in the shadows. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> whispers in the shadows. So 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 you wanna what you want? You wanna start light? Oh, I heard about him. You wanna, oh yeah, you heard you, about him. You wanna start? You never seen me. Oh wait. You I, hey. I love how <laughs> focus you got on. Cause you made me a drink. Hey, boy, you. Hey, what is this? Folk, folk, ask for me there. My bad, folk. Fuck, folk. Hey, can you? Hey, can you? Can you pour me your baby? <laughs> I can say all that. It sounds better, yo. A drink of what? Um, uh, the the sprite that, 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 that light just, and that sprite. Can you just bring the whole bottle out here? No, don't do that. That's a regular. Yeah, can you give me a couple of sprites, please? Hit nah. it out there, nah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so do you to pay me hourly wages. I'm not gonna. I thought, work I thought we discussed this already that we're gonna do this on a low day. Okay, bring that Nike box out the back is full of ones. <laughs> That's what when we go to. No, I'm saying, you know, I don't. You know, I would never suggest you. Somebody, you know, I, you know, hey, don't be talking, don't be talking them names, bro. Man, no promotion, big dog. Hand on that. Hey, so, so, uh, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So my first question is, you want to start light with, with this, or you want to get it? Come on, how you want to do it, man? I'll say, my, somebody asks, a female asks, she wanted to know from a male perspective, is it possible to love a woman and still cheat on her at the same time? 
Like when no, no, when I when I when I found that it was a few bags. Oh my god! Oh my god! You know what? But, but y'all crazy as hell. <laughs> one sec, one sec. Hey, question. Anybody else thirsty? Yeah. Oh, sure. Hey, you want to hand me that bottle? Can you bring me a bottle of water? Shut up, Teddy. Look, so. I'm not going to urge you. How you going to ask if I need something? Then I'll tell you what I need. I didn't ask and now I'm pushing the yeah. See, look, look, this authentic, y'all. So, like, when you say, are we credible? We. Living through it, you know what I'm saying? Like living through it, like so. So I know, I know some of y'all, you know what I'm saying. I know, you know, some people may have a, a significant other. Some people may be single till they die. But I guess to reframe the question is, does she know something? Like does she know a woman with somebody that's mean that you don't love the person that you with? Let's get deep. Let's let's talk. <laughs> we gonna talk. You hear me? <laughs> If you want me to go, I'm single, so if you want me to go first, I really don't think I qualify the best for it. I mean, I'm single too. Value. But I definitely gonna give you the two and a half cents though. Oh, we got a woman perspective in this motherfucker now? Man, that's what I see. Uh, a woman did ask the question, so if you want to. You went to pull you pulled you up something to drink? Yeah, I did. Okay. What you had, cause we want you to it's my drink. No, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I made my own damn drink. I didn't ask none of y'all to go get my there. drink. Keep it low, keep it low. They pan That's wild, man. They pan That's wild, man. That's wild. Turn it out low. So, no, no, real question. Do you think, like, do you, like, do you think just because a man would cheat on a woman, that means that he don't love that person? Hell no. I'm like, not saying problem. it's cool. I ain't saying I agree with it. Exactly. Like, that I did it before. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yep. So you said that was you before? I said I ain't saying I did was or wasn't. Oh, okay, my bad. I'm gonna make sure. I've been single for seven years. You feel How long? Me? Seven of them things. You only been gone like, for seven years. You feel me? Shit, it's been like life like that and shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm, man. maybe I'm just a big kid. Temptation, a motherfucker, man. It could be. It could depend on the situation too, because What's I, it? hey, I ain't even gonna lie. I was in a relationship for like six and a half years. Hey, hey, I no, cheated hey. on my ex, but the, the, hey, but, <laughs> but hey, the chick that I cheated on her with got me like all super fucked up on some pills and alcohol, and I woke up the next morning naked, and I'm like, what? I'm like. I was pissed. And then I had to go tell my girlfriend at the time. I'm like, Damn. I'm sorry. I cheated on you. And I, it was bad. It just depends. But so you got raped. <laughs> Basically. Not funny, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I ain't going to speak on that. I ain't trying to laugh until baby. I could have had a baby with that bitch. Uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, light skin, what you got to say? No comedy. I plead the fifth, bro. Hey, hey spin me. I think I'm the safe. <laughs> I, I think I'm the most qualified, but I think hey, I'm the safe. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. What you think, oh. Big King? King? King dog, hen dog? So, uh, honestly, bro, no. I feel like a nigga. I, damn, how, it honestly feel like how real you want me to be. It's like, because if we being true, I feel like. Are you real? Uh, is, that, is that how you I feel like. Yourself? I feel like. It's in the nigga masculine energy. Like a nigga gonna be attracted to women. Like like your nigga was attracted to you. Mm -hmm. A nigga gonna be attracted to other women. It's like mm -hmm. and it's like yeah, a nigga might have to like hold that shit in and not try to fuck other bitches and shit. But at the same time, it's like a nigga fucking other bitch. Like nigga, it's a nut. Hoes ain't shit but pussy. It's like damn, bro, I love my bitch. I might hey. fuck. I might fuck this bitch. You know what I'm saying? That I fucking hey. met at the club. Randomly at the bar, and I was fucking bought me fucking three Vegas shots and shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was rubbing on Peter Neversoft and shit. <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I maybe fucked that bitch in the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that don't mean I don't love my bitch. You know what I'm saying? That bitch means nothing to me. I don't give a fuck about that bitch. Like, I like, like, I beat that bitch up for my bitch and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that's what it was and shit, but it's like niggas. Like have like testosterone and masculine energy and shit and like I'm gonna hit y'all with a different. It's like weird. It's like holes and like, <laughs> pussy and shit and it's weird for us. It's like we I ain't been married ever and shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been single for seven years. I feel like it's I can't even imagine like like it's hard to like like have the same vagina forever. Like it's like this my vagina. 
know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like you got a, like, it's like if you get a dog, it's like, yeah, this your dog forever, but then like your dog died and then you low-key just get another dog and shit. <coughs> you feel me? It's like, nah, this your vagina so and saying, shit. Man, pussy you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, fuck, like, that motherfucker gonna have to be twisting and turning that bitch in some super spectacular ways and shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, <laughs> like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey, like, so, I just, so it's like, I feel like, motherfucker, damn them, like, shit, and the, and the same can be said for dick. It's like, damn, bitch, I only can hit you so many fucking ways. It's like, damn, bitch, like, I don't, like, shit, like, bitch, I got the Karma Sutra book. I can't do all them positions, bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they be, they be trying to the, fuck like, it's day, like, man. it could go, like, either way, but it's like, it's more than sex, I feel like, it's more than sex than just, like, the actual, like, Act of the sex, it's like you the person you're doing you know, with and shit, and all that good ass extra ass know. shit and shit. But at the same time and shit, like shit, I, some, hey, I got some you real ass you. bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I love, I love you, baby. You know what I'm saying? But like, I got some freaky ass motherfuckers too and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like a different and shit. Well, you wanna pass me the torch to do the whip? Like it's different and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like. X, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, X can't do what Y do. Y can't do what X do and That's shit. You know what I'm saying? Fact. Sometimes that shit be crazy and shit. Motherfuckers be thinking they they that. But you really ain't that. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't finna say that. But that's the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's I ain't like, gonna say it, though. Fuck, it's hard. It's like, it's like, I got mad respect for any nigga that's like in a, in a committed mm -hmm. ass relationship. Because it's a lot a vagina out here and we in fucking like the 21st century it's That's not even di it's not even difficult to get no vagina and shit and it's like if you can't even get if you can't get it like off like off your mouthpiece and shit you could just purchase some off like <laughs> like snapchat and shit you know what i'm saying like this shit ain't even difficult like, you used to be scrolling and i'm like damn what like i thought i went to school with you bro. yeah bro for real like damn and then you like like so like it's just hard you know what i'm saying so but uh I don't know if I. Oh, so to answer the question though, no, you folks. The no, a nigga, ain't, a nigga ain't got a nigga can love. You a a nigga too, can love you. Too welcome, Maybe I feel like I was too energetic. I was too ready for that question and shit. But I feel like motherfuckers can't call me a cheater because I'm not in no relationship. So it's like, yeah, you know, like. Can I? Can I throw my little two cents in? Swerve. Yeah, I know I'm biggie, but you feel me? I was still in the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so first off, I'm gonna say. First thing I'm gonna say, I don't condone cheating, right? I don't think cheating cool, I don't think it's cute, I don't think it's sexy. But at the same time, I understand men, and I, I I'm always gonna say I understand women, but I don't understand you. Know, you know, it's different, right? But one thing I will say is, one thing that men and oh, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. One thing, one thing that men been trapped in their whole life is not being in a safe space to express themselves, right? So, let's say come in deep as fuck. Woo, let me, come on, cause you know, we, some one of us got a safe face, you feel? Mm. So I think that in a space where a lot, we're not allowed to speak our opinion and speak our voice. Even though a lot of females be like, yo, tell me what you think, tell me how you feel. But if you met me at 21 for 21 years, I had to keep everything I had inside me. You know what I'm saying? Except for the nut, the nut but everything that I had inside me, <laughs> I had to, you know, I had to keep to myself, right? So, sometimes, sometimes the having to come out is having to come out and speak about it and deal with it, we not used to, right? And some people are like, yo, you just got to deal with it, you just got to go through it. It's like something that you've never been through before. You don't know how to handle it, right? And, and so what I'm saying is, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, a female might feel like they're giving it all and they giving their full perspective. They, like, they feel like they can do everything for you to please you. And like you said, sometimes, bro, like, X or Y, it's not about her being better than the other. It's just she probably offers something different that the other person won't, right? That the other person don't offer. Like, I met hella bitches that don't give head. But I got freaky bitch over here in the corner get a crazy That's my slob on my knob. Like, like come on, on the car, huh? Check in with me. Okay. And do your job. One time. Right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hold on, All right, man, so, that's too, that's, that's extra. Hold on. So, so, no, no, so back to the point, right? <laughs> so back to the point, instead of, instead of trying to conversate whatever the issues it is, we'll go to somebody else that's not finna question us. That's not finna <laughs> investigate us, right? We know Shorty over here gonna play her role. 
right? When I say play her role, I don't say that in a disrespectful way because I believe men and women should both play their role. They both got a role to play. Men, men, women, women. Y'all, all, we all got a role to play. But some people like to not play their role. Not play their role. Think that you know what I'm saying? Overplay their role. You feel me? And, That's a thing too. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes swerving off can be how we express ourselves, or how we how we wanna, how we feel like escaping whatever we was dealing with. Because it's about escape for me. It's not about expressing yourself. I think we are in a better space now where we're trying to promote men like yo, be yourself. Be, you know what I'm saying? Express yourself. It's cool to cry. It's cool to do this. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But that's a double-edged sword, too. Because when we find a female that we feel comfortable with, that we want to open up to, as soon as a bitch get mad, what do y'all say? That's why your bitch ass is crying. Like, come on, foe. Like, now we got to hold ourselves. You might not be like them, but you finna hit it, though. <laughs> you finna hit it, though. So, so a lot of that is, instead of dealing with what we got to deal with in that moment, we can go to something else where we... You know what I'm saying? That's all. Like, we can go for what we want and come back. So I don't think that when you go off and uh, cheat, that means that you don't love the person that you're with. I do believe that you're not valuing, valuing them at the level that you should. I can respect that. But at a lot of times, too, is a lot of niggas don't know what love is, bro. I can respect that, too. So, so when we thinking, so when we, so... Whatever the female think is love or their family or what her side is, you might think that's not enough because some people need more love than others. You know what I'm saying? Like my family, for instance, like my family, like we don't say we love you a lot. Like we starting to say it now because we see a lot of us dying and stuff. But we like, like, like we know if somebody do you a favor, like, oh, it's love. like we ain't got to say all that because we know it's there. Thanks. But some family, bro, they got to say it every time you do something like, oh, I gave you a dollar. I love you. You know what I'm saying? So some people need to hear that. You know I'm saying? a nigga like that. I need to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel that shit. But just to wrap off my ending, and then, like you said, sometimes, like, once again, I don't think it's cool, I don't think it's okay, but sometimes, like, we not cheating on you because we think that other bitch is better than you. Half the time, she not. Facts, right? Half the time, she... Most of the time. Most of the time, she not, right? Facts. But, most of the time, she feel a kink that your normal lady, I don't, I don't call my lady bitch. Sometimes, this be some that, different pussy. You know what I'm saying? But, like, but the thing, though, but, like, Sometimes it be that they true. feel a satisf they satisfy something that we don't have to work for. With your girlfriend, with your wife, you got to make sure they cool. You got to make sure the bills pay. You got to make sure this. You got. I'm not trying to say. It, I'm just giving. You know what I'm saying? Got to make sure you do this to get that right. And then when you get into relationships, everybody start getting half effort. Thanks. You got shorty over here that's willing to. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not saying it's cool, but it's I understand it. You know what I mean? But going back to the question, I do think that when you can cheat, but you still love the person you're with. Do you respect it? Do you value them at the level that you should? That's a different conversation, I think, right? Because like a lot of times, a lot of men, we know what we got at the house already. We just dumb. Y'all been calling us dumb for a million years, so shit, <laughs> let us be dumb, all right? We know what's at the house for the most part. But still, we like, okay, cool, that's feel, that's feel a kink. And if we feel like you're not feeling that kink or feeling that urge or feeling that thing, feel men, <laughs> men, men do not know how, men as a whole don't know how to have those conversations. So instead of trying to fight and bicker about something that we're trying to have a want from the person we love, it's easier to go do this on the side and then come back to your regular life. I'm going to end it once again. I'm not saying it's cool to do it. But I understand why it is done. Yeah, also, not saying we all agree to this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love my girlfriend. All right. <laughs> all right. Fuck that. I love her. I'm definitely single. You. I'm definitely single. So I'm definitely Damn. talking crazy from a single nigga. But uh, do anybody else got any more input? We got we got somebody in the back. <laughs> we got somebody in the back. So so are you are you? you you're a female, correct? Yes. All right, make sure, no, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't see your face, you know? Yeah, that's my dumb. What's the going on? All right, cool, 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 cool. Cool, so she, she's speaking, yo, so she's speaking from a, from a female in her position. So what do you got to say about the great stuff? I would agree. I don't think that if you cheat on somebody that you, that you don't love them, but it does mean that you don't have any respect for them. 
I mean, I almost say I mean, any respect. Yeah, right, Andy? I mean... We got enough respect to hide it, right? No, let me start, let me start, let me start. There's a lack of respect. Fact. I mean, a lot of things you guys are Somebody, saying seems to be like... Let me talk, let me talk. Let me talk, let me talk. I didn't say nothing. You haven't been to run our podcast. That's one thing. It's pouring stuff over here. I'm just saying, I didn't say nothing when y'all was speaking. I would just like the same respect, please. All right, they gonna be women like yo, it's all this masculinity in the room. I'm sorry, Kyle. I'm already knowing the comments. I'm so sorry. You continue. I'm just saying. A lot of things you guys were saying was just saying like certain needs weren't met or whatever, which means that there's a lack of communication in a relationship. If you're not communicating what needs need to be met, then how can those needs be met? Women are great, but we're not fucking mind readers, and vice versa. Oh, 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 I know, oh, 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 I know oh, you spend time yo, your mind. Oh, what? I know there's a lot of bitches out there that don't try to speak their mind, or ladies that don't speak their mind and don't say what they feel. And that's a, pro I think that's a generational issue. Though, yeah, on both sides. <laughs> but I feel like if everybody was speaking their part, then maybe certain needs can be met. And then I have a question on the other part. So how do you feel? If your lady feels like she just needs some new dick, because this dick is just not hitting the same anymore. Or it's a man's maybe world. I'm not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man's world. A man wouldn't be here if it wasn't for a woman. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's not forget hey. that. <laughs> so if, if mama needs some new dick, then maybe mama should go get some new dick since you fishing around for some coffee. It's just dick. Yeah. He bought me a drink while I was at the club. Oh. Oh. You know what I'm just saying? Yeah, look, man, the energy look, isn't man. the same when it's on the other side. It's like, oh, don't give away my pussy, but why yeah. you give away my dick? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just wondering how the other side feels about that. I, can I say this? Can I, can I say this? First of all, um, the lady that is talking is a very independent, strong lady, so I don't want y'all thinking like, you know what I'm saying, she just conformed to what we think or anything like that. You can clearly hey, tell. You, what she said. you clearly said she got her own, you feel me? She gonna fight all four of us, she got so you. Know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh you so what's the question again? I'm sorry, you know, we it's a man's uh, <laughs> I do agree, you know. I mean it doesn't mean that you don't love them. So, you I don't love somebody no, and I would like question? No, but, question but, but temptation like a motherfucker to a weak person, though, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, do you not think women experience temptation? I'm not saying y'all don't. <laughs> I, I'm just saying from a man's point of view, like, damn, like, hmm. I just wanted to fuck. Damn. Okay, That's maybe I just want to fuck. Hey. We Man, can't keep but, doing that though. We I can't mean, be like, what if, like, we can't, like, let's put that's some logic saying, behind so it. So, where is, where is the line of the sand drawn? Are you want me to be honest? What is the point of being in a relationship if you want to fuck around? Yeah. If you want to yeah. fuck, yeah. yeah. fuck around, then you can just say you want to fuck around. No, let me ask you a question. 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 Let me ask you a no, my question is, all right, cool, I understand that. I'm going to ask you a question, but when I answer your question, I got a question for you. So you want to play this game? You play You play on what it got to do. No, my question is, what happened? It necessarily, it's not all of it about just wanting to fuck around. What if you've been with your girl for 20 years? You've been with that same pussy. You made that decision. That same pussy. You made that decision. Yeah, what if she was saying? Let me ask you And she's been taking the same dick. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Okay, cool. Let me out though. I don't want to. I don't want to. So you keep stressing. I had enough to that. You keep stressing. You keep stressing. It's the same pussy. Like she's not taking the same dick. Why is she taking the like what's not computing? First of all, you're not gonna you not for right school now. me. I'm um, just saying. No, but my question is this is my question. My question you let me finish get the question. Sorry, honey, now I'm gonna throw these two piece oh, hands and this chicken <laughs> piece on that, you know what I'm saying? No, my question was, let's say you've been with somebody for twenty years mm -hmm. and let's say you did ask for a chain, like Hey, let's try something else. Let's use this. Let's That's add right. a person. Let's do something else. Let's, let's do something. Whoa. And the woman is not yeah. willing to... Not, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. <laughs> the woman is not willing to, excuse me, accommodate to those wishes. So that. you telling me we just got to break up with a yeah. woman just because... Of I'm not saying that. That is a different kind of situation. That's a, but, but you let me ask my question. But you just said I you, told you. And you communicated what you wanted. She didn't want to work with it. Then... That's not, I'm not saying it's right, but that's a more understandable situation of why somebody... That sounds cool, but yeah, you understand why it yeah. comes from, yeah. And then vice versa, mm -hmm. it depends on what type of dude you are, right? Like, like I feel like a dude should be able to act the same way a woman should act if you not if you don't cheat, you know what I'm saying? If the dude don't cheat, right? And you're like, yo, I'm faithful to you, you're not faithful to me, I'm cool. You can react on that. But deep, deep down, though, 
nigga, if you cheat on her already, and then she did some revenge cheating on, she <laughs> cheated on you, like, of course we gonna play that word, nigga. We she mad, that nigga. Fuck we talking about, nigga. But right, but. We gotta understand because we did the same thing. Like, how you gonna be mad with you? You know, no, no, we gotta play because you, you know, because. I'm gonna be right back. I gotta be first. <laughs> but we gotta play that role as oh, if damn. we met. But we, you know what I mean? But also, also, I mean, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. But jump off that because she wanna be all invested now. She didn't wanna I was be not in the front. trying to be invested. But, but we had an interesting. Question. So my, my question is is cheating, is a cheating, um, the end all be all shit? Like, if somebody oh, cheat. Man. Do you break up with that person? I'm like, ladies first. Since we know you <laughs> here now. You ain't finna let us talk and then you come rebuttal on us. And so, like, no, real question is, like, should cheating be an end all be all? Like, no. Like, now, hold on. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Like, no, 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 no. I like that, though. You firm on that. And I'm, and I'm, a, I'm firm on both, too. And that, that sounds crazy. People learn from mistakes and shit. I mean, sometimes a nigga gonna cheat and keep cheating and shit. But sometimes, uh, like, a motherfucker gonna see what he lost or what he, like, from the bag on this shit, you feel me? Facts. Like, you, you have to change for her in order to work again. But some niggas don't change. But Facts. some niggas do change, though. Yeah. Or some females do change. But, you know what I'm saying? Vice versa. Facts. So, I want you to go, because you ain't finna <laughs> rebuttal what the fuck I say. You ain't finna. Well, okay. I don't know. My answer might not be what you think it's gonna be. <laughs> she almost punched okay. me three times in one question. <laughs> okay. I think it's situational. You know the question? I'm sorry. Do you know the question? Keep you must question. Keep you telling me what I'm Do you think me. cheating is an end all be all? Like, you think if motherfucker cheats, should that be an end all be all? But she. Depend on the bitch. Alright, I'll cut coach you for the right now. <laughs> I think it's, it's situational. <laughs> it depends on how much time has been invested, it depends on. Who, how you cheated, how I found out you cheated. Mm. Now, it's one thing, I have a whole different level of respect if you came she to She might got to join the podcast for And me. said, hey, no. I cheated, I fucked up, blah, 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 blah. Now, if I find out, a different that way. might be a different situation. I can't say how I would react. As a rational person sitting here rationally thinking, I'd be like, oh, we talk it out, blah, blah, blah. But I'm a Leo. <laughs> Sun and Hi, rising. Girl. So, mm, I don't know. Right off the bat, I might, of course, catch a case. <laughs> <laughs> off back, no. It might really be. Girl, a, girl, 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 girl. Girl. It might be what, a. I ain't gonna cap that, fo. What you think, fo? I ain't a, a part of the reason that I'm single too, though, because fo, when I love, you don't want to go through that. Yeah, well, you love. I love that, hard, that, fo. That heartbreak hurt, my I boy. I love fo, so it's like, damn, bro. So it's like, yeah, even though I'm a dirty ass scum ass, I'm a scumbag and shit, and I don't deserve love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. If I love you, bitch, and it's like you cheat on me and shit, I don't know what I really like. If it's like, bro, like them emotions is like them be like, for like niggas be taught to like, men are not taught how to manage their emotions. So then when motherfuckers come to a difficult emotion, like betrayal or some shit like that. Motherfuckers might not know how to handle that bitch. Like, bro, your man's fucking black, uh, fucking finesse you and shit. You might kill him. But damn, bro, it's your girl, so you can't just kill that bitch. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, but you ain't been taught how to handle that emotion. So you might act out of character. And then it might, and it might, and it might, and it might be a, blood, a mark on your character. But with that being said, Nobody ever really had that conversation with you about how to deal with that shit. It's like me personally, I know how to deal with them certain situations because my my because my I, I motherfucking my vibrations is a little bit higher than the average person and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just yours is just yours, you right up there with me, fuck. You know what I'm saying? How you think we ended up here? But uh but but it's like shit, but it's like and and not saying I'm 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 rationalizing or or, or, or give or like Saying that this okay for motherfuckers to like do some crazy shit, but it's just like I understand, you know what I'm saying? I can't judge a motherfucker because I, if I told you the shit I've been through to get me right here today, you wouldn't even motherfucking believe me. But uh, yeah. So I'm uh this uh, what I think is um uh, I also agree. I think it's situation right. Once again, I think you can use a relationship. As a negative and as a positive, as a, oh, a, a brand, stepping stone, a stepping stone, not positive, but a stepping boop, stone. Boop. That ain't so, positive. It so, is you do what you doing. You gotta do what you gotta do. You step. So what I think is, it's also situational. Situation had happened, when it happened, 
you got kids, you all got someone to stay, that y'all just get married, that y'all, like, I do think, like, some, like, some of those y'all kind of group together, but I do think it's situation, right? But, <laughs> one thing I think is, I think, let's say you do give those communication cues, like, hey, like, like, I want to spice it up. I think, like, what we're doing is kind of regular. I want something new. You, And if you voice that or you like, hey, I don't feel love when we have sex and I don't do this. And let's say the man or the woman expresses that to the significant other and things they change, right? And then they go find it where they get satisfied at, right? And then let's say they get called or they even tell, right? I don't think it's still okay. But I think that the other person have to be more understanding off of that, right? So if I'm like, yo, like, I told you for the last year that I wanted to try something else or do this or do this. Or like, yeah. Once again, it's not cool to do it, but I understand it because like, like well, shit, you, that, huh? you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> like, like, I love the bitch, right? But I still want to, you know what I'm saying? That's cool, right? And then, <laughs> when I say that's cool, I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, like, like, that's cool, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you love her and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all got me fucked up. No, but look, but look, but look. <laughs> But but I do think like I do think to end this is, is, is the key is communication. Niggas gonna be niggas and bitches gonna be bitches. Let's get that out the way. You gonna have niggas that don't give a fuck and you gonna have bitches that don't give a fuck. Cause y'all don't don't act like y'all don't y'all don't treat more than niggas. Nah, it's not, all right, but all no, I'm don't, saying don't put words in my mouth. I ain't never said that. <laughs> no, but all I'm saying is of course it's gonna be that, right? People it gonna treat. So also how much you value your relationship. Mm -hmm. Loyalty. Yeah, but 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 I think uh, anybody got any more inputs? Because I, cause I think that's enough about women for the day. Because we're gonna be talking about women a lot on this podcast. Mm -hmm. Hey, I had a question too, though. Damn, what's your question? No, also though, I feel this also like I respect and I uh, understand everything, both sides and shit, and I understand both of the motherfucking sides, and I can't agree nor disagree because I understand them. But I also feel like the value you have for your relationship matter and shit. Because I feel like it's a good place to be like a bitch, like a badass bitch. A bitch that's even badder than your bitch drawing you like, damn, let me suck your dick right now. And then you be like, no, nah, bitch. I got a bitch. I'm not in that place yet. But like. Hey, can I jump on that real quick? But like, that's a good place to be in in life and shit. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? But a man going to be a man. It's you know also like, depending on the status of these niggas, right? Like if you're a broke nigga. What's the hey, nigga that got his shit hey, together? Bro, you could be a funny nigga and fuck a nigga bitch. Fuck nigga Kim no, K. no, but what I'm saying Kim is... Kim K getting cracked by a funny nigga. Facts. Kim K getting cracked by a funny nigga. That's going to show you, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, hey. But that's not my question. Hey, bro, bro you can crack any bitch you, because you just make that bitch laugh. That's a fact. That's make a, that, bitch that, laugh, that is a factual fact. Make that bitch laugh but like three times a day. unfortunately and fortunately, depending on the status of the person that cheated... Depending on how much they offer oh, to the so table, yeah, depending matters. on how much they offer to the table, kind of factor into what, how you have that situation. Because if it's a, if it's a nigga you giving a chance that's broke as hell, that ain't got shit going on, that ain't that's at the crib. If he cheat, like how dare you cheat on a person <laughs> to you? you feel? <laughs> but if you're a nigga that got a business, that got a cause and shit, got got his shit together, he he helping around the house, he put he motivating you and shit. Like not saying it's still okay because it's still not okay, but it's like. We got to talk about it. That's all I'm saying. We got to talk about it a little bit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but, like, you know what I'm saying? I do think it's a difference between the person that, you know, that cheated, like, what status they are and just in life. You know what I mean? Once again, not saying it's cool or it's okay. But, um... You know my shit? I only got, like, two questions. Because, uh... Y'all don't fuck with me like y'all used to, man. I don't know, man. I don't know what happened, man. I don't know what happened. Nah, but, uh... No, nah, I'll just be last minute to fuck with shit. I'll be doing real life shit. I'll be a fucking dad. You niggas are fucking Ooh, terrible shit. dads and shit. No, nah, I ain't gonna say that. Is that No, that bitch empty and shit. But uh, the only question I had got and shit, I had got two questions and shit. Like, how do I stay focused and, like, stay, like, positive and shit? Mm -hmm. like, a, like, when I'm in the midst of adversity. And a lot of times it's like, bitch, I be motherfucking feeling like, I be feeling like shit, bruh. Like I like I really be in them like in them dark places and shit. But at the same time though, it be like with like the certain life shit, you, huh? bro. Hey, I love vagina and yeah, like that shit <laughs> that shit is necessary. <laughs> but like it's like vagina is necessary. I said that already, right? Yeah, you did. Okay, anyway. But, but you gotta uh, say it twice. You know what I'm saying? Two no, times so they know the house. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But like, uh, it's just like. 
I'm in this bitch. I'm still here, for You know, like when you be drunk and you be like looking at me like I'm in this bitch. I'm here, for Like I, it's me. I'm drunk as fuck. I'm in this bitch. Like what it's the me fuck? Right now. You feel me? I thought you right now. You that and was just analogy. Like, but it be like my chicks ready. Yeah, I'm gone. Right but it be like. Yeah. But it be like. Life got me fucked up, bro. It's, I be like, it's like, nigga, I'm in this bitch. I'm finna figure this shit the fuck out. Hey, that, life ain't fucked up. But life got me fucked up. Yeah, like bro, that. life got me fucked up. Like like, that. Like, damn, bro, you got me fucked up, bro. What the fuck you think it's like, you really got me, it's like, it's like you got me fucked up, bro. It's like, damn, fuck you think I ain't finna overcome this shit? Like, even right now, fo, you know what I'm saying? I ain't feeling as hood rich as I was feeling in January. <laughs> you feel me? Let's just say that. You feel me? Hey, for you hey, but as long as you live, niggas ain't. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Life is good, nigga. You know life saying? always been good. Hundred thousand for the cheapest frame on a nigga finger, little bitch. <laughs> 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 so, so if you had to get two, like two, like two, like what's the two elements that keep you motivated? But really, like it's just like Layla for sure. Your daughter. This is like, and it's like that's so cliche, so fucking cliche. But it's like so what? Is you know it is it that? actually your motivation? Do you kind of like try to like use it as a? Excuse to make it your motive. You know what I'm saying? Like, does it really? I mean, I'm gonna go hard regardless. You, I feel that, but it's you know just like, it's just like that's just oh, put the extra sauce on me. Like, yeah, that's just make, like Layla just make me go harder. I want her to have a better life than me. But that's by natural. Yeah. yeah, but it's weird. But it's like yeah, for that's like any parent want they yeah. have a better life than them. So it's like it's weird now though, because now she in a good ass school district, for and she lives. She go to school amongst the whites. And like they as rich, she be having little playdates and shit. I seen, I seen some of her classmates that she like be hanging out with, bro. They talk, they talk better than we talking. You know what I'm saying? Same grade, like they talk, wild, bro. they talk big like, proper. Bro, she go to the best school in the area, nigga. No kizzy. And no she kizzy. should. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, and I like, I'm happy as fuck to say it, <laughs> but I'm bad, y'all. Her classmates are rich. I'm just her rich. <laughs> You know but that's what make you unique, man. No? But it'd be wild, but I should be wild. You know what I'm saying? Like she had come, she didn't came back to the crib, like told me about their cribs, and nigga, that shit made me question my shit. She's like, yeah. What do make you go harder? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course it made me go harder too. It's like, damn. It's like you know, you you know how you, you know you be in that position. You like, damn, how fucking hard can a nigga go? Let me say something though. You know what I'm saying? I only like the like I'll do like I go in you harder. It's gonna be detrimental. To my motherfucking life, it's like yeah, I can, like I can go fucking, I can go do some other shit. I go step on some toes and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like motherfuckers not trying to like be in that lane. We trying to do when you want, you want to always try to do it the right way. But we trying to do it the right way. You feel me? But think like, about it like this. Did y'all hear what he just said? All these rich people yeah. got their kids in this one school. You not rich yet, but you're on your way. But you already got your same kid in that same school, nigga. That's a bonus. That's a plus. Ooh. Nigga, what? Imagine when you get that, nigga. Nigga, imagine when you get to their level. Nigga, you don't have your own teachers. Like, let's be like, like, so you always got to flip it and look at it on the positive side. Like, That's right. all these rich niggas got their kids in this rich, nice school. You not rich yet, but you on your way. And you already. Come on, man. You got to look like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something that they something that they probably took them years to find out, you already find it out in, in your early age. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, I ain't got no kid yet, but I definitely see I definitely been around influencers that got kids and that go stupid crazy and like that be their number one answer. I'm like, yo, why you do this? Why you do that? They're like, Yo, I got kids to feed. Like and like it's a cliche thing to say, right? For facts. But at the same things? time, nigga, too. That's no a fun. fact though. It's about that legacy, nigga. I wanna be great, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like I was just saying earlier. You gotta cherish your life and shit, nigga. I don't know how much time I got on this bitch, bro. But it's just like I know when my time is done, my time is done, nigga. I want to be remembered, and it's like now for being like, oh, one of the greatest niggas to ever push a bag on the west side, or like not like like not nothing goofy like that, but it's like yeah, like nigga, one of the best dads I ever seen. Mm-hmm. I can fuck with that, like nigga, like shit, shit like that. But it's like, bro, like nah, bro. I want, it's about that legacy, for Niggas be dying, then they put niggas on the shirt. And then them niggas, niggas, niggas stop talking about their ass by the time the shirt fade out. You feel me? It's like, nigga, I want to mm. really, like, it gets about that legacy, fo. I really want to mm. fucking, like, I'm going to try, fo. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, like, I, we watch documentaries and motherfuckers talk about, like, damn, superstar DJ. You know what I'm saying? Superstar radio, nigga. Like, nigga, superstar author, nigga. Like, nigga, like, nigga. And it's like, nigga, I'm, and I'm just trying to be, get on off being me. You know what I'm saying? It's like I got a lot of talents and shit. I just gotta figure out figure out the right thing to.
push out to the world. And if I don't know the right thing, so I'm just gonna push out every fucking thing until something stick. You know what I'm saying? But like, That's it's about that legacy too, for And even if it ain't me, which I'm coming to the place now, like, bro, you might just be a regular nigga, phone. You might just be a cold ass dad, and Layla be cold as fuck. And Layla, be are that. you a regular nigga though? If you're a cold nah, ass bro. dad. Yeah, bro, it's a of, like it's like it's a stigma, bro. It's like motherfuckers act like, like nigga, I ain't the only cold ass dad in this room to go on this podcast, nigga. This nigga a cold ass dad too. Like shit, we ain't but do that make you a regular nigga? Is my question. You know what I'm saying? My my bag might be a little bit longer than yours, so I might be able to do a little bit more mm-hmm. shit. But nigga, just, you gotta say it with like a lot. Not saying, but it's like <laughs> my man, dude, just kind of like my man, like, throw money. Like, like, but it's like, but it's like we on, we on different, we do different shit. You like, feel so me? It's like, nigga, you do fucking like, nigga, like, <laughs> um, and I can't even say that, nigga. You might be getting more money than me. I don't know, nigga, shit, nigga, nigga, humble and, and th- lay back. But it's like, I mean, I mean, it's back and forth and shit. You feel me? But it's like, what's your opinion? What's your opinion on this? Like, what you think about, like... Niggas, like, basically what I was... I said that to say this, like, basically, you ain't doing nothing different with your kids that I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't had to... Maybe you ain't had to go as far as, like, going to court and all that shit. But it's like, bro, you be with your kids just as much as I do. But great parenting can be together. different from, you know what I'm saying, person to person. A great but dad yeah, to you is different than a great dad to him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a great dad to me is a motherfucker that just put that time in. You know what I'm saying? A great dad to him might be like, yo, I got 50000 waiting for her when she graduates. Or might be like, I'm making sure she's happy. You know what I'm saying? It's all different. See, my shit right now, like, damn, I know if I made that have 50000 just to give, you right? to give you right now. But I know shit, if something happened to me, you got 100000 when you turn 18. <laughs> You I ain't me? got a little fifty piece, but that's I got a whole bowl for you. That's the least I could do. So I think I don't got no money right now. Not, no, I'm I'm so happy you got life. You got life. <laughs> you got some life insurance on yourself though, on your uh, kids. For, in the union, yeah. So mm. like, so, so I got two new babies right now. But for Jeremy and Point, uh, as it is right now, this nigga now, got two new babies. Yes. So for for my for my old, I got four kids hey. and a stepdaughter. So for my oldest two, it goes. They get 50 and 50 when I, if, if I were to die. They get 50 and 50. And like, there's a variety between the any of my remaining kids and shit. So if I die, like, I got four kids, they all get 25% of whatever I, I made from the union. And your boy's been in there for a year and a half now, and it's been great. So according to your check, is dedicated Nigga. to your babies. Yes. Like, on, on GP, like, yes. before you see anything, they can take care of first, and right. like, Free healthcare, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, 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 something that's better than having a million dollars for real. Like, you ain't gotta spend your money. You ain't gotta. Yeah, I love all that. Yeah, yeah. No, him, no, him. See, they ain't hearing me out though. Nah, I hear that you. life insurance <laughs> might be worth a million though. That life insurance might be worth a million, so when you die or something like that, you ain't got to touch your money. I'm not finna die, though. Uh-huh. I'm not finna die. I'm not finna die. I'm not finna die. So I ain't got no million, nigga. What? Bro, I'm invisible, bro. <laughs> let me get that big really. Hey, hey, yeah, let me get that big really. Hey, 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 fuck, bro. Fuck that health insurance, bro. I'm a healthy nigga, bro. <laughs> hey, so, hey. So, fuck, fuck. Hey, fuck. You got anything to say? Oh, you ain't got no kids, because I ain't got no kids. I, I can't even talk. Kids. But what you think, like, how do you stay focused on your dreams and goals and shit during the advers- adversity and shit? I just want to make my, uh, like, my family proud and just, like, have a good, positive impact on the world. Like, and, like, I don't know, like, have people, like, remember me for good, positive things. Big facts. I'm going to ask, can I ask you a question? What if, like, what if you do what's happy and good for you, but you don't make your, your family happy? Like, what if they don't agree with what the shit you did, but the shit you did make you... At the end of the day, they gotta love you for, for who you are. They, 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 but they don't. Your own happiness is paramount, my nigga. Yeah. But you feel me? Fuck anything else. Your own happiness is paramount, my nigga. Kevin, Kevin taught me that. Kevin Hendricks. Kevin taught me that shit, bro. In 2020, he taught me that shit. Changed my life, bro. Your, your own happiness is paramount. Get the camera off me. You feel me? There you go. You beautiful, nigga. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so, no, I agree, I do agree with all that, you know what I'm saying? So that's not like a food bar. And, like, take it away. I ain't gonna take it away from him. I just took it away from him right now. Like, but yeah, you know what take it away. He got that from me. Hey, I, this is all I'm gonna say, bro. Like, like I went through some adversity this week. My car broke down. Out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? It just broke down. I gotta go get a rental. I gotta go possibly buy a new car, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that happens out of nowhere, right? But, like, you know what's crazy? What keep me focused and keep me motivated 
is every day I go to sleep and every day I wake up, I dream of the vision where I think I should be and where my vision is. Yes. I started my own business. So no matter what big, no, no bullshit I go through, I'm still like, okay, cool. I, I still got to get that on. You know what I'm saying? Right now, like, okay, cool. I ain't got no car right now, so I got to find another way to get that, but I'm still going to get that, right? That's no, that's a fact, right? And I'm a, like, like you've you been around me for the minute. Like, I was mad. And, like, it was fucked up. Then, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Why it got to happen now type shit? But it's like, it's all going to work out for the better, though. This is going to be a point in time when niggas don't need no cars no more. We taking this straight private jet. Let's not talk about it, though. Them PJs. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's going to be a point where, like, man, them cars are going to be an inconvenience to us. Well, then let's not talk about it, right? But at, every day I wake up and I dream, even though I got a full-time job, I got a nice job. This is the best job I ever had. I'm still trying to see how can it benefit me to get to the next step. Thanks. No matter what I go through, I still be like, yo, I got to make it to where I want to get to, man. I will tell y'all the goals and shit that I want to do right now, but sometimes I think when you keep it to yourself, it's easier to attain them. You know, because that person not on you because people are not <coughs> downplaying you and everything like that. <coughs> but what keep me focused is no matter what I go through, I know my, I know my dream is real life for me because that's all I think about. In my pastime. Like no matter what I think, I'm like, yo, you need to be at this level, you need to go there, right? <coughs> and I think I think the path gonna change in life. I think your path change. I don't think it's always skinny. I don't think it's narrow. Like you go through obstacles that either make it longer or shorter, but that's still the end goal, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I stay focused doing what I gotta do. You say you you say you, you had two questions that they asked you? What's that second one? Do I feel like females? Do I feel like women are single due to the um because of themselves? Like, do you basically do you think it's my own fault that I'm single? No, so reverse, <laughs> reverse that again twice. Like, like do, you, do you do you think <laughs> hey, females? All, right. Do you think females are single because of their own accord? Or like basically like is it or my like men. or is like it is bitches with? own fault that they single? Basically my perspective on why I think bitches be single and not be like damn. So do you think it's like do you think it's their fault like the wrongdoings of what the woman doing that's why they single? Type shit, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Or is it because? Or is it because of the other yeah. person? Yeah, they just you didn't meet the right person. They type just want, dudes just want a different pussy and they're just like damn. Every dude I'm with just wants a different. Hey, person. hey, <laughs> um, do you want to ask? This is my question. Oh, uh, but you can answer your own answer. They want to know a man's perspective. I'm fucking my pussy. <laughs> I'm hard to deal with. I feel, I feel like... I, feel I, need like you, I need you to look like that just in the camera. <laughs> 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 that is, you got the same look at it. You know, I'm... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're wrong for that. <laughs> no, because I can tell you see it like... And when no game, when no play in your. No, if I say something, it would sound kind of wild. <laughs> but, uh, I say yes. So, now, hold on, you want to ask first? Yes, what? Wait, this, I don't know if that was a yes or no question, was it? I thought it was a yes or no question. I don't well, know. I was very confused on what the question was. Yeah. First of all, this ain't your podcast, so you just. You, just, you asked me if, you, if I wanted so, to answer the fucking so question, crazy, and I barely man. know what it is. I don't like, know what we're talking about. So, so if I understand the question right, like, <laughs> so do I think women are single because of their wrong doings or they single because or they own doings? I'm mean, I'm sorry. Are they single because of their own doings or they single because? I got like, I got like oh, the man. Or like, see, that's the part. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. The question's getting lost. So, 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 but look, look, look. So she's trying to she's trying to make us say like we ain't them niggas, but I always got my man back. Them them bitches single because of their own doing, and the reason that they single because of their own doings is because sometimes they try to settle for niggas, right? They try Bitch, to you got like four mm -hmm. niggas right now. Oh, and you be got for this fuck all that, yeah, you got, bro? Trying to be nice, fuck that shit. You talking to like four niggas right now? Damn, my daughter sleeping shit. You bitches gonna wake my daughter up. <laughs> It's your bitch your fault right now. <laughs> but it's like, for you talking to like four niggas right now, for you think I'm finna be the goofy nigga to slide through and just fucking accept all your bullshit. Goddamn, you know what you ain't for? You need to call your girl, fuck. 
right now. Oh, bro. Man. Pause the podcast, <laughs> man. Damn. For fucking folk. If I for motherfuckers be thinking like like you literally do goofy ass shit, like shit that like no man, like no real respected man will find valid. And then fucking woman that he wants to be his woman. And then you be fucking think like 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 you still think you gonna use your fucking goofy ass stop ways to like wheel in a real I understand woman the question shit. Now. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you're talking about wrong, wrong doings and like you got multiple but it's shit like, going it's on. Yeah. Like, it's you, 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 you talking, no, but we can take it like, we, no, this ain't nothing specific. Nothing at all. I'm just saying. You, you, how many niggas you talking to? I'm, that is not, I was not talking all right, to you. Yeah, but you said it's specific, so what's the question? Come on, just saying, yeah. like you talking about hey, what more you niggas. Hey, not every bitch is talking to most You got five niggas, what you trying to say? For real, seven niggas. First of all. Ten is a double digit if you ain't know. What's going on with TikTok? But I'm um, just like, for, I'm just like, like motherfuckers, like motherfuckers, motherfuckers gonna take the like, like, like the most up goofy they can. Like, bro, you the best, you you the most, you you the best goofy in the best position. So I'm gonna take, but I'm gonna still low key do me. Okay, okay, I, I, so I, so I know what you like, saying. Like, I ain't gonna go to the club with you, I know you my you nigga, mean. but I'm gonna go to the club by myself, and I'm gonna be out here and shit, and I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna fuck niggas like hood rich. In the club because that nigga, that nigga. I'm a fuck So you like, telling me? So you saying? But you, also, hold on, fuck me. Damn, you got an extended, analogy. Yeah, <laughs> hey, bro. My bad, folks. And then, folks, and then bitches be taking advice from goofy. Like you only be taking advice. Like, like bitches don't be taking no relationship advice from bitches. Like, oh, I don't know what Oprah got going on this shit. <laughs> like, like bitches don't be taking no relationship advice from like Michelle Obama. Like, that bitch got Obama. Like, bitches be taking like, advice for bitches that be going like, through the Summer same Walker. shit. Like, you taking like, advice from, like, Summer Walker. And she's like, bro, look at the, like, like, what the fuck? Like, why is you taking bro. relationship advice from this bitch? A bitch? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, what the fuck? Like, you taking relationship advice from, like, a bitch on Instagram and shit. You or, take like, you taking advice from bitches now, but that's in the worst that's position. That's not even, a, like, damn, you, you, know know yeah, no, no, you ain't taking advice from no married bitches and shit. Hey, you can, can you say this through in the middle of the podcast? Can you tell, like, can you tell the audience or the... People why we say bitches? Cause why? Cause we don't. Hey, 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 hey. We might say bitches and hoes quite frequently, but it's all subjective. It's all love. We just don't know all you. We ain't saying that you bitches and hoes. It's hoes and bitches. We just don't know you hoes and bitches names individuals. So we say bitches and hoes respectfully, but you know that it's all motherfuckers. It's all love. It's all big hearts around. Hey man, hey, hey, hey. A bitch is a female dog and a dog. Hey, and a man best friend. And I'm back to what you <laughs> right, So, 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 so can right. I, can I ask you a question though? About what you, so, so basically what you're saying is like a lot of females will have something great in their possession, but they choose to fuck around with these fuck niggas that ain't got yeah, it. Yeah, I'm here. Motherfucker, she don't need a nigga like, motherfucker, she don't need a nigga.